our topic for this this afternoon okay, is about managing market information okay uh, for marketing students uh, that is really very important because the market informations are really the informations that are needed by the marketers what will you learn in today's discussion first you will learn the customer insights okay the representations the customers representations and the marketing information system and marketing research and the last one is about customer relations management that we call crm as marketers as marketers you are once you are employed as marketers in a company you need to gather new deep insights into the needs and wants of the consumers. Okay. Are there difference between the needs and wants? Yes, there is. Okay. For example, you are hungry. Okay. You want to eat pizza because you're hungry. Okay. You need pizza. But you want pizza to be hot then it is your wants okay so there's a need and wants there's a difference between there is a difference between the two now after we have uh, discussed about the needs and wants we will now go to the customer insights okay the customer insights, these are raw data, meaning uh, these are not yet been uh, submitted to any research. That, why, that is why it is called raw data. Or it is a research, meaning it was studied, there was an interpretation and there was a conclusion on that uh, research. And the cost, another customer insights is the quantitative and qualitative data and information. Okay. And customers' insights usually in a survey, consultations, demographic, experiences, formal and informal communication, and feedback. So, with those two that we know that there are customers' needs, that there are that the needs is different from the ones, and that the customers' insights are so um, much really demanding for a marketer. Okay. So, what will you do in order to be a good marketer in terms of marketing information? Okay, we have one that is existing nowadays is what we call the marketing information system. Okay, in short, we call it MIS. And what is this? It involves people, equipment, and procedures. Okay, so take note. An uh, MIS must have people to work on it. There must be equipment to be used, and there must be procedures. Okay. MIS used to collect, sort, analyze, evaluate, and store data, okay, information, okay? It's used to collect, sort, analyze, evaluate, store information that can be distributed timely and accurately to marketing decision makers.
the data included under MIS are facts, estimates, guidelines, policies, opinion, and other relevant information. Okay, class. Okay. We said that the data that, uh, that the MIS, okay, uh, as I have said, okay, Kanina, it's about the collect, sort, analyze, and evaluate, and then stores. These are the data, okay? Now, the facts, okay, when we say facts, these are data that you collected based on the fact that is really happened, okay? That is really happened. And second, also we can collect the data that is estimates, meaning assumption, okay? We also consider that under the data under MIS. And guidelines. Of course, we also collect that. The policies and opinion and other. Okay, I will just give you an example class. Okay, Diba? In uh, any, anything that is related to marketing, okay, we always have to base our decision on the data that we collected. And even, and even, not even in marketing, you know, in, in other, also, in other area of a business, like for example, the financial, okay, we always have to uh, consider the records that we have, okay. So, the same with the marketing information, in order for us to have an information that is really, uh, that are really can be used by the marketers, okay, we need to have this data na from different sources. Okay. So as I have said, it can be the facts, it can be estimates, can others, another more. So a marketing manager and other information users, okay, class, I have here a flow chart of MIS, okay. In that flow chart, I know it's not to um, clear, okay, uh, but it's there, the marketing environment that includes the target market, the market, um, marketing, pub the public, and the competitors, and now you have your internal, internal, what's that, internal database, and then the marketing intelligence, and then marketing research. All of this class, all of these are included in the marketing information system. Okay, so uh, it's not, it's not simple; it's complex. How this MIS will be effective? An an effective MIS must can assess marketing information needs. What is the example, okay? If you are really using an effective MIS as a marketer, okay, you will be using an information that you know are the needs of your external partners. As an example, external partners are those are the suppliers, the resellers, the marketing service agencies, okay? They are called external partners because they are not in within the office or within the company, okay? So you must know their needs. And another one is that we, sh we should be vigilant on the marketing environment. Meaning let's have this attitude Okay, attitude of that we care, okay, that we care of what is happening in the environment as far as marketing is concerned. Okay. So in these two, 
we can have an effective MIS. What are the main components of MIS? One is internal records. Okay, as I have said, diba, sabi natin kanina, data must be from the facts. And these internal records that are generated from the companies in terms of sales, marketing, and accounting records, these are considered as facts. Or you can use, or the one of the components is the marketing intelligence. Uh, as we have uh, discussed in the flow chart, there is a marketing intelligence inside, inside the marketing information system flow chart. Okay? And what is the role of this marketing intelligence? The role is that to gather and analyze available public data of competitors. See? We also have this intelligence, okay? Diba in normal life, diba yung mga agent na uh, nag, um, nag, nag maman man, okay? So in accounting, we also have that one intelligence and what they are called marketing intelligence. And they are, um, they are concentrated on the competitors another is marketing research marketing research analyzes the generate the generated data for reports as we have said we can call it research when we have undergone with the collection of data and submit it for interpretation and then we find we can have our conclusion and that is research okay and that is also component of mis and the last one is the marketing decision support system okay we need a system that can support these marketing informa informations that we have without the system we cannot of course so you cannot make the uh, uh especially now that we are now in the new era of technology we really need system like you class diba? you are because of the system of ama the platform of lms we were able to have classes how can we develop marketing information Marketing information can be developed, but marketers, okay, my tip, marketers take note on this. MIS may differ from company to company, meaning a company of a liquor, a, a manufacturer of liquor is different the MIS that they needed are different from the company of an export, uh, export of a company that are engaged in export and import. So, by what company they have different MIS? Normally, the information that they use and gathered by means of survey, research, observational research, focus group, interview, sampling research plan, questionnaires, and personal contact. So we can develop this marketing information from these suggestions. In developing marketing information, marketers need to be innovative. Okay, now we we know we we that is already accepted to each one of of us that everything now is changing. 
the only thing that is not change that did not change is the word change so for you to be able to catch up with the technology in order for you not to be outdated you should be innovative there are initial steps of tactic involved in the developing of marketing information one is determine the systems that the company already has in place okay for example you are hired as them uh, in charge the marketing agent or okay marketing assistant or marketing officer in a company okay then you are in charge with this mis okay the first suggestion is that you must know what is already, what, what system that the company already has in place, okay? Kung meron na, you can use that one. Okay. Next, examine the helpful marketing information that can be drawn out from those systems. Since it is existing, there is an existing, okay? You can examine this existing system, okay? And find out the information marketers need that they are not presently receiving from system. So now that there is an existing marketing MIS, okay, and now you have examined this, and from your examination, you find out that there are still more to add on this system. Okay, so now that you know that this system is not 100% complete okay. or you can say that based on your examination it is 100% complete only we need it is to utilize it 100% maybe it's complete but the problem is that it's not being used 100% discover or develop additional system to offer okay so well, maybe you can develop additional system or discover okay or you can offer okay next is incorporate this system with corporate system to reduce cost okay so dito, kung may, uh, in short class when there's an existing system mis okay you you are uh, try to figure it out if it is complete and then if it's not complete you can make additional system okay para to reduce cost okay. yan ang mga gusto ng mga company di ba less less cost okay now we're, we're doing so much about mis now let's have something to say about this marketing research. When we say MIS versus marketing research, okay, MIS is intended to guide daily marketing planning and decision making. Okay, so the MIS is existing in the day day to day life of a business. While the marketing research is generally carried out to deal with a specific marketing problem. For example, class, the company is engaged in a uh, garments, okay? Garments that cater for babies, for teenagers, for adults, for um, middle men or women okay so you have this kind of garments now you find out that your garments under teenagers are not really making sales so that is the problem okay so you have identified the problem so that problem that the garments by teenage people are not making sales so this one can be submitted into a 
marketing research. Why? Okay. So that is the difference between MIS and marketing research. There are categories of marketing research. Okay, we have the secondary data. Okay, when we say secondary data, this information is gathered earlier to other purposes but can be used in the present study. Okay, so old, old information na siya. But we, as we have said, diba? Okay, in our earlier discussion, we store data. Okay, so in this secondary data, these are based on the stored data of MIS. That is secondary. And sometimes it comes from internal, internal like warranty cards. Or sometimes it comes from external like commercially available data. Okay? So from outside, we can still gather like what? Okay, uh, maybe there is a write-up on that, a magazine. And it contributes to the advantage of reducing data gathering costs. But may not suit the problem perfectly and accurate and accurate the that may be difficult to verify. So if we will be using this secondary data, we can, we can. But uh, what the theory said is that it may, but it may not, okay? But it can help or it cannot help, okay? So it depends on the company. Another category of research is the primary data. If we have the secondary, then we have also the primary. And when we say primary, it includes the demographic and socioeconomic characteristics. When we say that demographic and socioeconomic characteristics, it should be at the present time under primary. Okay. Psychologically, psychological and lifestyle characteristics, opinions, attitudes, knowledge, and awareness. Primary data can be obtained through observation, through communication, a communication that can be verbal or in writing. Okay. So that's it about the primary data and the secondary data. Now, going back to marketing research. Marketing research also has a process. Okay. Okay, number one is defining the problem. Okay. Yung mga marketing students, okay, on their, um, at their third year, I think you will have your marketing research. Okay. It's just like a thesis, baby thesis. Okay. So in research, in order for us to be engaged in a research, okay, these are the process that we need to undergo. One is we need to define the problem and the research objectives. Okay, okay like what we said, Diba Kanina, the company has a problem on the sales of the thin age people, uh, thin age um, garments suitable for thin age people because they are not making sales. So the problem is that why these uh, teenage garments are not making sales? And what is our objectives? Our objectives is to find out why for us to resolve the problem. Okay. Next, developing the research plan for collecting information, detailed methods and procedure, procedures you use to obtain the information, okay? So, from the research, you can have your information. And then, implementing the research plan, collecting and analyzing the data. That is under for the interpretation, okay? You have to collect and 
analyze using a statistical method to arrive at a conclusion. Interpretation, and then you can have your conclusion. Okay, so that is the marketing research process. So now, let's have the last part of the marketing information. And this is about customer relationship management. Okay? We call it CRM. Okay? That is the common term for marketing students on CRM. And how it is? How is this? Okay? When we say CRM class, it involves or it deals with the practices, strategies, and technologies that companies employ to manage and analyze customer relation. Okay, so this is customer relationship management. This is about your relationship with your customers. Okay, okay. yung bang customers mo ay loyal sa yo. Or yung, you only have one-time customers and next time they wala nang next purchase, next buy, wala nang ganon. Okay. So, your aim is, under CRM, is to have a good relationship with your customer. Okay. As I've said, may objective siya. Ano bang objective? What are the objectives? One is improving business interactions with customers okay so if we have this crm okay we are maintaining that crm in our company and we are using it okay business interaction with customers will really be there okay and will really be improved okay kung, yun, kung religiously you are doing your business interaction with your customers, okay, hindi yung once, minsan lang, if you want, pag ayaw mo na, okay lang, no, it cannot be, okay? And then, supporting customer retention, okay? How will you do that, class? Yung customer retention, okay? What will be your marketing strategy para you can retain your customers okay so again your uh, marketing information you will keep the information of the customers like their number their email ad and sometimes you uh give an um, announcements more regarding the products regarding the promo uh, with that okay you can retain your customers okay? or sometimes let like what uh See what, uh, what is the good strategy that Cebu Pacific has in their airline. Okay? Diba? They created a get-go account. Okay? So if you are a, um, using Cebu Pacific in your flights, then you can earn points that can be used in your future flights. Okay? Okay, uh, is this really true? Yes, okay. I myself avail of that, okay. In fact, one of my trips in Japan, okay, 100% I'm free from my fare, okay, using my get-go accounts. Okay, in that way, okay, in that way that the Cebu Pacific, their strategy, okay, I am their customers for how many years now? Why? Because I want to retain the points from my flights. See how many years na tong, how many years na tong, uh, get go accounts. Now the get go, get go. Uh, they they you can also accumulate points, not just from the airline, also from making purchases from groceries. Okay, so you can earn points from that, and with that. There is really a customer retention. Another, it promotes sales growth, right? 
ba? So many customers, definitely there is a sales growth. Okay. CRM gather information across different channels. Okay. So how can we gather the information of our customers? We can have it from website. Another from live chat, okay, from telephone, from direct mail, from marketing materials, okay. No, uh, in our time class, we don't have this website, this live chat, okay. We only have this telephone and direct mail. So if we really wanted to reach our customers in our time, we have this direct mail, we mail, okay? So mailing. Nowadays, now at present era of technology, it's so easy for you to have your customer. But the disadvantage, of course, there uh, sometimes because of so many, many competitors that are online, it will also be one way of losing your customer. So for you as a marketer, you must really do what is really the best to offer to your customer. Social media. Okay, alam na natin. That social media is the Facebook. Okay. CRM provide detailed information on customer's personal information. Okay. So, if you are maintaining customer relation, uh, CRM, customer relation management, then you must keep the customer's personal information, especially class, the email and the contact number but for you to easily reach them, okay? Their pride buying preferences, okay? There are customers, what are their preferences? They, are, they, they prefer to have cheaper, cheaper items than the, uh, than the um, expensive one, okay? Or they prefer a durable item quality with uh, a little more in price, but quality is guaranteed, okay? or purchase history okay so you can have the purchase history okay so what is the strategy made by uh, western western appliances okay now they also have this western appliances card okay in that card there is an history of all your purchases made to them okay for example, 2008, 2006, you purchased refrigerator. Nandudong pa rin yung record nila. Okay? Until now, 2019, you bought Sony television. Okay? So, that means these customers will really like the service of the Western. Okay? So, they have that purchase history. and other concerns, okay? What are the challenges in CRM? One is the single view of the customer. Okay, that's really true. There are customers who are really have a narrow-minded narrow people, okay? So they only have the single view, okay? And if that is the case, then that is a challenge to you. When customers' data is stored in several separate systems, okay, what is the problem with them, with this? Sometimes, because of several separate systems, informations as are likely to be different. And when data is outdated, okay. 
Okay, when we say outdated, okay, when we say the data is outdated, meaning you cannot reach them anymore. Probably the customers have changed their uh, their number, changed ng CP, CP number, okay. So it's not good. Or sometimes due to long wait times, it will like the uh, hotlines, when you contact the BDO, okay, it will take you, it will give you 10 minutes, five minutes before they can resolve your problem. And then in, in an appropriate managing of technical support. Okay, so these are the challenges of CRM. Okay. But there is a key, and that is creating a cross-channel experience that is consistent and reliable okay. so in all those that we mentioned okay so we need to have this result in us as a marketer this key challenge okay so we need to have a create uh, cross channel okay so if it's a when we say cross channel it is not a single path okay there are so many paths involved okay so it's cross Okay, so probably this one, if you cannot, um, if you cannot reach the customers through SMS, probably you can try the Yahoo Mail or the Gmail, or you can try the Viber, okay, or you can try, um, what is that, the um, other platform of social media, okay. Thank you very much to each one of you and have a great day. Bye-bye.